Uh, welcome back to Brainflow TV slash Hot Topics TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. G Depp is home. Time flies. And time goes by so fast, you know, a rapper goes to jail or prison and three, four, five, ten years past, a whole new generation comes about every five to ten years. So there's no wonder why there's a lot of people who are asking right now, who the hell is G Depp? Well, in order to understand who G Depp is, you got to know who Black Rob is. In order to understand G Depp and Black Rob and their musical history, you got to look at no other person than Diddy, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy Combs, Sean P. Diddy Combs, and Bad Boys, Bad Boy Records. All right, so rapper G Depp, actual name is Travell G. Depp Coleman. Travell Coleman. He had turned himself in for a nearly two decades old murder case and had been granted clemency by New York Governor Kathy Hochul. This dude committed murder, got away with it for 20 years. It sat on his conscience and he could not take it anymore. The story was that G. Depp was heavily into drugs. His choice of drug was angel dust, or and he was getting dusted and zooted, and he started getting paranoid and hearing voices and seeing the face of the person that whose life he had taken on one of those drug-filled binged missions, and he couldn't take it anymore, and he felt like the only way to get right with God is to actually go tell the people down at the prison that at the precinct rather that yo i did this murder i could solve this unsolved murder for you so he's now 49 years old he's just served 13 years of a 15 years to life sentence after walking into a new york police precinct in 2010 15 years to life means that you must do at least 15 before you are eligible for parole but you could end up in there for life if you keep going to the parole board and they keep telling you hey we don't think you are rehabilitated enough yet so 15 years to life could actually mean a whole lot more years now two years ahead of his original parole eligibility date which would have been 2025 his sentence has been commuted by the Democratic governor who also granted clemency to 15 other individuals. Yeah, so G. Depp, the rapper, who was convicted in 2012 for the murder of a man by the name of John Henkel, will now be able to seek parole and could walk home earlier than expected. Well, that could be home earlier than expected has been updated to today. Because if you check TMZ today, if you check XXL and all the other news entities, you will see a video clip of G. Depp looking much older than he went in, walking out of prison. Governor Hochul granted 12 pardons and 4 commutions ahead of the holiday weekend marking the third time that Hochul has granted clemency in 2023. We are now in 2024. And as far as this goes through the clemency process, it is my solemn responsibility as a governor to recognize the efforts of individuals who have made an improvement in their lives and who show that they are seeking redemption. And then I must help them to find this redemption is what the governor says. To be honest with you, g Depp, if anybody, he was truly remorseful for what he did, you know. <coughs> I mean, brother man broke down crying, couldn't take it anymore. Had people telling him, don't do it, don't do it, but he just had to get right. He had to get right with himself, uh, not even get right with God. He just had to get right with his conscience, with the law, with himself. So the rapper actually earned an associate's degree while he was in prison, and he facilitated a violence prevention and sobriety counseling program while he was behind bars. He also joined a variety of educational and rehabilitative classes 
This is according to the governor's office because they've been tracking him and they've been looking up on how he's been doing, been checking with the prison to see if he is getting into trouble. Is he worthy of this or should we just leave him behind bars? His clemency application was supported by the assistant district attorney who prosecuted the case and the judge who sentenced him. Could you imagine that? The district attorney who prosecuted you is here asking for clemency on your behalf. And the judge who sentenced you is here asking for clemency on your behalf. The rapper was one of the rising stars of hip-hop's superstar Sean P. Diddy Combs at his bad boy record label back in the 90s. And he had hits. Special Delivery was probably g Depp's biggest hit. And then he had another one called Let's Get It. And he helped to popularize a loose limb kind of dance that was known as the Harlem Shake back in the 2000s, right? Go look at the video on YouTube for special delivery. Go look at the video on YouTube for Let's Get It. You will see the Harlem Shake and the people still do the Harlem Shake up till to this day. But his career slumped. By late 2010, things weren't happening for him. And I remember them doing a follow-up video as to where are these people now kind of thing. And it said that G-Dep is talented, but, you know, he had taken a dark path. And he was heavy on the drugs, and the drugs had consumed him. You know how the entertainment industry goes, too. New talent comes in. You get shelved by your record company. You are in debt to your record company because your last project didn't do how much they invested in it. So you walk out of there broke and now you back to doing what you know how to do best. Get into these streets, get into this money, whatever the case may be. So g Depp was out here getting in a lot of, a lot of stuff, right? With at least a dozen arrests on drugs, trespassing, and other charges he racked up after his career slumped. At least a dozen drug charges, trespassing charges, and other charges. Now, attorney Anthony L. Rico said that at the time that Coleman had been haunted by the 1993 fatal shooting of Henkel, and he decided that the only way to clear his conscience was to confess to what he had done wrong and he did just that now the rapper showed up at the police station at the precinct in december 15th of 2010 and he admitted to killing henkel a father of three outside of a harlem apartment complex about 1 a.m in the morning on october 19th back in 1993 and he didn't confess to it until 2010 he got away with it Coleman calmly explained to the police at the precinct, listen, I had shot somebody, I tried to rob the person, I was demanding some money for them, I was on the street corner, I was young, I was dumb, I was high, I was doing all the wrong things, I was only 18 years old, I'm seeking forgiveness, I'm sorry, it's bothering my mind and I can't live with it anymore. I'm making a full confession. He told this to two detectives at the court in, 20, in, in uh, 2010, December 15th. And <coughs> two detectives repeated this in 2012 in a court hearing. He said that he felt really bad and that it was eating him alive. And he just cannot live with it anymore. So, Detective Dave Feliciano said, The victim's brother, however, Robert Henkel, had demanded that the governor, Hochul, reject the urgings by Prosecutor David Drucker to release G. Depp, calling it a farce. He told the New York Post and other news media houses that this is one thing to seek clemency if you are locked up on a drug crime, but how the hell do you seek clemency when you're locked up on a murder? You know, this this is not right. This is not justice for my brother. And I can't, I can't help but to say that I agree. 
You know, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, I applaud G. Depp for wanting to change his life. And I applaud him for his conscience uh, eating him to the point where he paid attention to his conscience. And he came clean and confessed to what he did. And some form of justice was served. But, uh, nah. If this was my brother... I wouldn't look at it like this. You confess to doing it. So I know for sure we have the right person. And now you get. You get to be out of prison in no time. You get clemency. You get released early. You get sent to the parole board. You get a slap on the wrist. And get let out. As if my brother's life was worth nothing. One person said man listen this is disgusting. Another person said he should have gotten life without the possibility of parole. Another person said confessing after 17 years and pleading not guilty. That does not sound like you were trying to make things right. And and, and that was another issue too. When g Depp went to court, it is said that he pled not guilty after he confessed to the crime. See, when he had confessed, right... They had they didn't take him into custody at the same time because they had to make sure that he was actually telling the truth. And believe it or not, there are people out there who walk into the police station and confess the crimes that they did not commit. For whatever reason, someone would want to do that, they do. So the police had to go back into their investigations, take all the information that g Depp gave them in his confession and compare it to their investigative notes. And then they saw that there were things that happened and in the scene that only the person who committed that crime would have known, right? And they charged him and then he went to court. And pled not guilty. Now when you go plead not guilty after you confess to being guilty. It makes it seem like ah, uh, you're having a moment. He's having a, he, he's rethinking this. He is like, eh, my conscience was bothering me. But I don't think my conscience is bothering me too bad now. Because I don't really want to go to prison for this. I just wanted to get it off my chest. Well you could have went to the park and told that to a tree. You could have laid down and told it to the grass. You could have told it to the air. You didn't have to go tell it to the police station. And now that you told it to the police station, you're going to prison anyways. So although he retracted and pled not guilty, he still went to prison. His excuse was, I'm 18 years old. I didn't know any better. I came up rough. And I was zooted and dusted when I did it out of my mind. Didn't even understand what I did. Well... That's neither here nor there. You don't get a slap on the wrist for being able to say, I was so high when I killed your family member, I don't remember really killing them, so I shouldn't really be going to prison. That's kind of like not how it really works. And in all fairness, that wasn't justice for the victim and the victim's family. But you fast forward to, to, to today, and today, April 4th, 2024 it says that g depp is a free man he walked out of prison today after turning himself into the police and confessing to a unsolved murder yep on thursday april 4th g depp was released from prison after serving 13 years for a murder he committed in 1993 a video of the harlem rapper has been released to the public and that video of him being released from prison can be seen at XXL on XXL.com. You can also see the video on TMZ. I won't play the video here because it's not my material to play. He was greeted by a group of friends and family members. They exchange hugs and pleasantries with the assembled group who is elated to see him free for the first time in over a dozen years. According to TMZ, he was released on a limited credit time allowance program, which allows eligible inmates a six months credit on their existing sentence. The former bad boy rapper 
released some three months after he was granted clemency by New York Governor Kathy Hochul. Now, I don't know if G. Depp is going to be hooking up with P. Diddy and getting back to the music. I mean, he's almost 50 years old, but that doesn't say anything. He could still be an instrument. He can still be a good writer. He can still have an air for the music. He could still be working behind the scenes within the industry. Or maybe this brother just want to get as far away from the industry as possible. It is also said that he is one of the artists that Puffy or P. Diddy or Diddy did rob off their royalties because his two songs, Let's Get It, and uh, the other one, those made a whole lot of noise, climbed up the charts, but not much of that money went to his pocket. And a lot of people said that also contributed to him heading back to the streets and him feeling defeated, depressed, robbed, hurt by somebody he trusted, and you know, the rest is history. Anyways, welcome home g -Dep, but karma still has to be served. So however that one works out, it'll work out that way as well. Rest in peace to Black Rob as well, and y'all know how the story goes already. I'll catch y'all on the next video. It's BrainFlow TV slash Hot Topics TV. You already know, when a topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.